Donald, nice to meet you. My name's Laura, I'm a physio. I understand you've been having some problems with your left wrist. So we're gonna take a look at it today. Um, as we're working through the examination, if you can just let me know if you experience any of the symptoms that you've been having. Yep. And also if you can just let me know if it's uncomfortable and we'll try and change things. Okay, okay? so first of all, we're just gonna have a look at both of your hands and your wrists and just see if there's any um, deformities or changes to any of your fingers. Um, or your thumb or through your palm. We're just going to check, the, make sure that there's no muscle wasting here around, around your palm. You just turn those back over. And we're also just going to have a little look to see if you've got any nodes or any things around your knuckles. Okay, so we'll have a little look at your movement first of all. Mm -hmm. So if you start off with your um, palms facing up to the ceiling, and I'm just going to ask you to bring your wrists up as far as you can go. How does that feel? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna come in, just put a little bit more pressure on that wrist. Good, okay, and relax down. And then in this position here, I want you just to stretch your fingers out as far as you can. And then I'm just gonna ask you just to take your fingers to the side, lovely. And then your thumb all the way over to the other side. So you're gonna slide the wrist now all the way this way. You slide back there, good. Okay, and then relax. So we're now going to turn the palms down, lovely, and this time you're going to bring your hand all the way back. Happy with that? Again, I'm just going to come in and put a little bit more pressure. How does that feel? Yeah. Good. Hands down. And this time you're going to slide again. So first of all, with your little finger going out, good, and then back to the middle, and then with your thumb coming in, good, and then back to the middle. Comfortable with all of those? Yep. All right, so let's have a little look at your strength. So we'll come back to this one again. You're gonna bring your hand up, you're gonna hold that there, and I'm gonna try and pull you down. Good, and then relax there, lovely. And then holding up here, and again, don't let me pull you down. Good, okay, relax. In that position, I'm gonna ask you to push your little finger out to the side. Keep your arm nice and still. Good, and then relax there. And then you're going to take your hand in mm -hmm. from your thumb towards that movement, okay? So push in, lovely, and then relax, good. Turn that palm over. And now let's have a little look. Can you bring your thumb all the way across? And can you get it to touch down at the base of that finger? And can you work your way all the way along? Lovely. And now can you take your fingers tip to tip all the way along? That's lovely. So now we're just gonna have a little look at the health of the tendons just along the top of your wrist here. If you tuck that thumb in there, curl that around, and then I'm just gonna take you ever so slowly down towards the couch. And I'm just gonna see if you've got any discomfort through this area there. No? no? Okay, good, and relax there. And then release your fingers off, good. And if I just come in and just put some pressure along here, okay. are there any problems with that? No. Nope. Okay, great. So this time, if you could just lean, come a little bit closer to the bed for me, and you're just gonna rest your elbow there, all right? Now I'm gonna come in just to the base of your thumb here, to the little bone at the bottom there, and we're just gonna see if that bone's in, in its right place. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure there, okay? And I'm gonna take you from this position back here, and I'm just gonna move you all the way forwards through to the front. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a wave, mm -hmm. a little bit side to side, a little bit forwards and backwards. And we're just gonna see if there's any clunking as you do that. All right? Good, okay, relax there. So now, Donald, let's have a little look at the bone here, just at the base of your thumb, and just make sure there's no problems with the stability of that bone. So I'm just gonna come in and just have a feel along the wrist, make sure that I'm in the right place, and just put some pressure back onto that bone there, mm -hmm. okay? And whilst I'm holding that pressure there, we're just gonna get your hand to do a little bit of a wave. So you're gonna come from the back, at the side here, all the way forwards to the front. So we're just gonna do a few times whilst I'm holding that pressure on there, from the back of the side there, all the way over. We're just seeing if there's any clunking or any problems within your wrist there. Good, and then relax. 
So now, happy? And so now, so this time, Donald, we're going to have a little look at the sort of meniscus that sits within the wrist and mm -hmm. just see if there's been any tear or any irritation of that. So I'm just going to come in here and put some pressure straight down into your wrist, okay? So that can be a little bit uncomfortable. And then we're going to keep that pressure on there. And as we move it, we're going to come all the way over to the side. We're just going to see whether that causes any problems within the actual mm -hmm. wrist joint itself. That's okay. Good, thank you. We assessed Donald's wrist and hand. We had a look for any obvious deformities, looking at swan necks, uh, uh, dupatrons, any contractures within the actual palm, any wasting of the thema or the hypothena emin eminences. Um, we also then moved on to look at his range of movement, um, the strength within the, his wrist and his hand, looking at his ability to use his thumb and his opposing movements, and the dexterity within his hand and his fingers. We also had a look at the Watson shift test. And we also had a look at the TFCC with a compression test to assess the integrity of those structures.